Soder came over my house. I did. Uh, earlier today. Which I'm once to do. Because we had to watch. I, I caught it over the weekend. I thought I was going to just kind of watch it and fall asleep to it. But it, I'm Well, let me about... tell you why it's perfect. Before we say you what can we say watched. what it is? Okay. Before we say what we is. This weekend, uh, NBA, all, former all, NBA All-Star. Oh, yeah. Uh, lightning rod of attention. Dennis Rodman. The worm. The worm hammered at a car wash in uh, Van Nuys, California. Um, it says former NBA uh, star Dennis Rodman was wasted at a car wash Sunday morning in the OC, at least according to several eyewitnesses, and it was bad enough that the cops were called. So he was just drunk as shit, a Costa Mesa car wash. Several people came in close contact with him, including employees. We're told he walked up to a man and put his hand on his shoulder and said, <laughs> hey, white guy. Hey, white guy. And <laughs> you do a pretty good Rodman. Yeah. He's a, I, I want to get my car wash. It was a wacka. I call him wacka. <laughs> it's a pretty good Dennis Rodman. So this leads us perfectly into why I went to your house this afternoon. Because this weekend... I, I caught the documentary, the Dennis Rodman's Big Bang and Pyongyang. <laughs> yeah. If I'm saying it that right. I think but, he uh, nailed it. But it, it is just a documentary about... Which I knew. I almost didn't watch it because I'm like, I don't really care about it. I thought it was going to be a serious documentary about, like, look what he did bringing this game there and breaking <laughs> yeah. down these borders. And what happened was a half hour into an hour and a half long documentary, they go, oh, the stress was starting to weigh on Well, first Dennis. off, it's, you have to understand something about the documentary. It's narrated by an Irishman. Yeah. Because it was an Irish production company that did it. Yeah. And so the whole time he just talks in kilometers. It's very distracting <laughs> because he's also like, Dennis Rodman knew he's about to drink, but no one else knew why he was going to drink. Even though it was 10 a.m. Yeah. he started drinking. And the stresses of home really laid down on him. <laughs> Dennis Rodman, the giantest man in the world, drinking on a plane. I, I tell ya. The only thing tinier than leprechauns are North Koreans. He's me pants. So he, in this movie, just starts kidding, as you were saying. 30 minutes in. 30 minutes in, they go, the stress was getting to him, so he started drinking again. Uh, and he's he's an alcoholic his whole life, and that's a big deal. And they really brush over that pretty quickly, because he's sitting, first off, you know you know he's drunk because he's he's sitting in the middle seat of an airplane comfortably. And with his legs crossed. Having a beer. Just having a blast. It looks so much fun in the beginning. And you're like, you know what? I bet Dennis is going is to lose him up. He's going to be a okay. Well, here's the trailer and for the documentary. We never have trailer. stops drinking. Out of North Korea. There's been an extraordinary turn of events in the normally secretive North Korea. They could now conceivably strike the west coast of the United States. Reports from North Korea tonight say the second most powerful man in the country has been executed. Welcome to North Korea. Relationships between North Korea and the West have always been frosty. One man is on a mission to change all that with a basketball. Go, 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 go
You don't know shit about me. What's going on from people? <laughs> yeah. He's, he's a mess. He just keeps yelling at everyone. It's just, it's one of the funniest things. Well, it's really like if you want to see a guy just be hammered in a country where you shouldn't be hammered. You just shouldn't be drunk there. Dude, Kim Jong-un had his own uncle beheaded. <laughs> His own uncle beheaded because he was just kind of a little bit. In, he thought he felt he was a little bit in his way, just a little bit. Dennis Rodman went on a retreat to a ski lodge in North Korea and just got cr and got so fucking obliterated, hammered that Kim Jong Un was like, "I'm just gonna stay away from that." That's literally what happened. His people told them, "quote unquote," to give Dennis Rodman go, a wide give berth. Him, <laughs> give him a wide berth. They told a guy who kills his family members because of slight jealousies. But you know what's fucking so great about it is that Dennis Rodman came home right away and he checked himself in the rehab, apparently. Yeah, but the, the best part was he doesn't even show remorse when they interview him after he's been out of rehab. No, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah. talking, he went to that rehab and then he just goes, uh, I think he goes, he goes, yeah, I mean, I was just I was stressed out. So I just drank. I drank a whole lot. But, uh, you know, we got through it. Live and learn, right? <laughs> yeah, so like international incident all over. He goes, bah, whatever. Blows the best shot at diplomacy that we've had. <laughs> and then also not only that, but he's the best thing is he called it doing his thing. That's how he says oh, in the interview. Know, I'm just doing my thing. He's like, you know, I trash the trash ski lodge and you know, I was just doing my thing. That's my thing. <laughs> That's what I do. I get hammered and I fuck up ruthless dictators' ski lodges. How old is he, Dennis Rodman? I have no idea. But he's been, I mean, he was in the league in 89, didn't he, when with the bad boys? Yeah. I mean, it's just... 54. 54. Guy goes, and I mean, the best part was former New York Nick. Charles Smith. Charles Smith showing up, big man Charles Smith, as a true diplomat. A guy an that... Ambassador. An ambassador. <laughs> the guy knew how to run the game, the practices, he knew how to do everything. And it was so clear that Rodman... Was like the drunk dad who wasn't <laughs> who wasn't comfortable with the successful stepdad. Well, so the beauty is the behind the curtain of. Can we bring up the uh, the CNN the famous CNN interview with Robin? Interview with Robin they have up because when that yeah, it's with it's with Smith Charles and Robin and all, but it's all the players are sort of sitting there. And what's great is the behind the scenes on this they show in the documentary is that they try to do this meeting and have the CNN press conference without Dennis Rodman. <laughs> he shows up. They try to do it without him, and he shows up with a really good, he goes, what's up, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. I was in my room drinking. Yeah. He's like, he's like, what's up? Oh, yeah, we is? CNN? Okay. And he just puts on a scarf and a blazer and sweatpants. Sparkly topped. I mean, he's got, uh, he had duds on the shoulders <laughs> of studs, the blazer. Yeah, <laughs> he had gold studs just on the thing. And the whole movie, all he wears is tearaway pants. So he's got all these like, he's got all these like important meetings with North Korean officials, and he's just wearing Adidas tearaway pants. You never know when we're gonna have to run naked through the quad. <laughs> yeah, I get good leg moving in these. I rip these bad boys off. <laughs> he's got a cheetah's hat on. It's almost like he was daring North Korea to be friend. Like, yeah, and he just goes so big at them. But yeah, put on the CNN you thing here. You have a relationship with this man. You've said it many times. We've seen it demonstrated yes. for whatever reason. Yes. Are you going to take an opportunity, right, right. if you get it, right. to speak up for the family of Kenneth Bay and to say, let us know why this man is being held, that this is wrong, that he is sick. If you can help, Dennis, will you take the opportunity? The one thing about politics, Kenneth Bay did one thing. What? If you understand, I got the guy. Okay, so pause it right here. So at this point in the show, in the movie, they're showing that Charles Smith has basically saved the entire interview by navigating through these questions. Well, they did. In fairness, they had a script. Yes. They got all the they questions ahead of time they were going to be asked. And they met as a meeting, and that's when Rodman shows up. Yeah, they up. met at a meeting to say, like, you know, uh, let me talk. I'll say these, you know, very. We don't want to bring up the fact that this is yeah, a good no politics, yeah. no blah blah blah. And, Charles uh, Smith handling it like a like a, a senator. Yeah, and then just at the end, <laughs> they throw the guy goes, "All right, I'm gonna let you guys gather. You got to get some practice." Hey, Dennis, what about that guy they're keeping prisoner there who's American for 15 <laughs> years? And he's like, "Brother, let me tell you something." Like, it's, 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 yeah. here, here, just go, let him go. Yeah. Do you understand what he did? What did he do? You in tell this me. Country. You tell me. What did he do? And no, 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 no. You tell me. You tell me. Why is he held captive? They haven't released any country. charges. They haven't Why? released. They haven't released any reason. I would. I would. I would. Let me do this. I would love to speak on this. Go ahead. <laughs> you know. You got. 
You got you got you got ten guys here. Ten guys here. Which, by the way, this is such, pause it real quick, this is such drunk person logic. Oh, yeah. Where you're just nailed on a question and then you're like, I'm feelings. I got feelings. <laughs> These ten guys. That is so beautiful. Because <laughs> like, he asked me, like, where's Kenneth Bay? Are you going to talk to Kim Jong-un about Kenneth Bay? Let me, let me, uh, let me do this. Uh, 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 ten guys. Ten guys is here. That's twenty balls. That's ten guys. Twenty balls. <laughs> get it? Y'all get it? CNN? Y'all don't get it? Listen here, brother. Listen here, brother. <laughs> I don't. Ten means twenty. Twenty means forty. He forty does. friends to <laughs> sixty friends. Eighty friends to one hundred sixty. Flip friends. it up. Smack it. Rub it down. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Put some flour on it. Put it in the oven. <laughs> Roll it around. And then you know what's here. Get it bigger. Roll it around in flour. Look for the wet spot. Huh? Everybody get it? Everybody get it? I'm trying to keep it light. What are the charges? What are the charges? That's a good question. <laughs> you know what else I want to know? Oh, questions, questions, and answers, baby. Why is the sky blue? Why is grass? Why is grass great to lay on on a summer day? <laughs> I'll uh, let it play. He gets more and more wrestling promo. <laughs> To help this country as is a sports venture. We got ten guys, all these guys here. Do anyone understand that? We do, and we appreciate Christmas. that, and we wish them yeah, well with cultural right. exchange. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. No, I don't give a shit what the. I'm the last ass. What the hell you think? Oof. I'm saying to you, look at these guys here. Look at them. Yeah, but Dennis, don't put it on them. Don't use them as an excuse for the behavior that you're that you're putting on yourself. They came here. You you just basically were saying that Kenneth Bay did something. These guys. It's the who's of the NBA. (laughs) If you watched the playoffs in 1995, you might have seen three of them. Somehow we was able to get Vin Baker here. (laughs) He had sex with Sarah Palin. You know how hard of a get that is. Did she fuck Vin Baker too? (laughs) You didn't know that. Oh, Glenn Rice. Ah, damn it. (laughs) <laughs> ah, damn it. Oh, is that... that that's, I was thinking you're of... You're thinking of Glenn Rice. I was thinking of, I didn't know... Vin it. Baker wishes... <laughs> Big dog Vin Baker never had. Vin Baker never had a season to get white pussy. Oh, man. He would have split that like <laughs> chopping wood. <laughs> Vin Baker was fucking black chicks that had gold pieces in their hair. <laughs> we got the second best Mike Bibby, Doug Christie. <laughs> <laughs> We got uh, the back up players on an all star. Dude, that was the best. Uh, baby. Manu Paul would have been here, but he was busy. M- Matumbo wouldn't return my phone calls. Also, Clifford Robinson, <laughs> whoever I thought died from sickle cell many years ago, is here with one of the 10 people. Horse Grant couldn't find his goggles. <laughs> <laughs> it just couldn't find. <laughs> Geez Osby <laughs> would never turn my phone call. Kurt Rambis, daughter, had a graduation. <laughs> she graduated in December. I tried to get a hold of Deadlift Shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Bradley has started a very successful furniture store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, keep playing Rodman because he's keep going. Don't use these guys listen, as a shield for you, Dennis. Listen, you, listen, 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 listen. Hey, no shield. I got, I got it. Let me, let me do this. Really, really. I'm gonna tell you one thing, brother. People around the world, around the world, world. I'm gonna do one thing. You Sh- guy behind the mic right now. We are the guys here doing one thing. We have to go back to America okay. and take the abuse. Do you have to take the abuse? Well, we're going to take it. Do you, sir? Let me know. Are you going to take the abuse? We're going to get it. But guess what I do? One day. <laughs> one day. This door is going to open. And at Isn't Halloween Havoc, you could see <laughs> Dennis Rodman take on the American media. <laughs> That's right, though. One day. One day. I just love when he goes, One oh, day. when it's all coming crashing down, <laughs> and Dennis Rodman standing there looking at everybody, wondering how I got the gold around my waist. <laughs> People want to know. Well, North Korea, I'm pretty hammered. <laughs> yeah, his, uh, his speech sounded like... Bill Murray's speech from Ghostbusters. Yeah. What do you goes? goes Cats Len, and he goes, dogs. He goes, Lenny, that's registered. <laughs> <laughs> it's mayor, Lenny. <laughs> um, but we watched One that day. entire documentary. 
one day. And it really, after the 30th minute mark, it's just Robin going off the rails. It goes, well, you start to feel he's a little wacky. He starts crying early. Like, he really starts crying oddly early. That's what I called out that I think they filmed that when he was drinking. It's very possible, because he starts crying, because they go, They asked me, oh, do I know he killed his uncle, cut his uncle's head off. And I was like, what? Yeah. Well, then he Remember goes, goes, I was like, what? And, uh, no, I didn't. Do, do I know he kills a bunch of people? No. Do I know that we do that here in America? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, the best part is when he starts quoting Paul McCartney's wings <laughs> at the end of the interview, where he goes, someone's knocking the door. Someone's ringing the bell. Do me a favor. Open the door. <laughs> Let him in. <laughs> and you're like, what? That's your that's your, that's your fucking policy with North Korea? <laughs> uh, jet. Woo. <laughs> guys had to fight to not spit in your face right now. He just starts quoting random things. And the uh, jailer man told Sailor <laughs> Sam. I could feel it. The word into the sun. <laughs> For the band on the run. And one day. One day. Dennis, uh, listen, that interview went nowhere. You just started quoting old songs at us. I don't think we can use that. <laughs> uh, and Charles Smith doesn't mind if he doesn't uh, make the scene. <laughs> He's got a daytime job. He's doing all right. <laughs> 